Amazon had us all worried for a second, didn't they? Let's go. Our geeks was popping here with an unboxing, not a review. So this is the Amazon exclusive Silk and Doc Ock 2 pack. This went up on Amazon a few months ago and sold out within about three minutes and didn't come back again in stock until what, uh, probably about three or four, probably about three or four days ago. And it was going in and out of stock for a couple of days. It would be up for about 10, 15 minutes and it would disappear. Then whew, I'm filming this on Friday, I think on Tuesday. It went up and stayed up for about three hours because I was checking like every 30 minutes and it just appeared. I bought it and then I know like two or three hours later I checked and it was still up. Now I looked again yesterday when I was checking my shipping and it had sold out again. So who's this box set for? This is for either completionists like me that gets every version of every Marvel Legend or people that missed out on Silk or Doc Ock. Silk was a fan vote has proposed exclusive about a year and a half ago. A lot of people missed out on her. Doc Ock, he was a part of a regular wave. I think it was, uh, I don't remember which one it was, a few years ago. But he's hard to get now for less than $80, $90, $100 on eBay. So this pack, you can get two figures for the price you pay for Doc Ock. Let's go ahead and get him out of the box. All right, we got two head sculpts for each. She's got her mask and unmasked head. I like the short haircut. And then Doc Ock, you got this constipated head. Then you got the I'm glad I'm not constipated anymore head. Ooh, we get extra hands too. We got Silk's mass head, Doc Ock's humble head, his extra hands. You got four hands, well, five hands for Silk. This one has that nice translucent web effect on it. Dope. All right, so this just turned from an unboxing to half a review. I didn't realize that it was more than a head swap. There's some new deco and new parts. So big difference is the head sculpt. You have this generic head sculpt, which I thought was nice when I first got it, but now it looks kind of toy-like. This looks very realistic, and I like the short haircut better for some reason. So deco on her chest is different. You can see that the points of the spider go up a lot closer to her neck. More of a sharp V going down towards her cleavage. The S here is bigger than that one. Then the rest of it looks mostly the same. Double jointed pinless elbows, double jointed pinless knees. They gave us the double jointed pinless knees. They gave us the new stuff. Thank you Hasbro. So we're gonna have to check out her articulation right after we bask in all of her spidery glory. Yo, this new blast effect is everything. Everybody was sweating Doc Ock, but she might be the star of the show. Pinless, pinless, pinless. 360 on that head. Tilt left, tilt right, down, up. I might go further up. Did I get that right? Yeah, it doesn't go up that high. Let's go down pretty low though. He's on a rocker. You can get a 360. You get a crunch. Way back. Big split. Doing the van damage. Shoulders yay high. 
Coming in for the hug. Wingspan, excellent. Great range on those new double jointed pinless elbows. The bend. The kick. Swivel. None of the calf. And 360 to foot. That's so welcome. The first version, she had no rocker. That foot was awful. It was hard to get her to stand. I'm glad they fixed that. Double jointed pinless knees. Kick in the butt. Doop. All decade prancer. Dancing across the spider verse. Well, she is a pleasant surprise. I really thought she was just, I really thought that she was just the body. I really thought it was the same figure we got. Before. I really thought this was the same figure we got before with just new head swaps. Cause I know for a fact, I remember specifically they said that about Doc Ock, that the body is the same. All they did was change the head sculpts. I don't know if they updated the color. I don't know if they updated his colors, but I guess we'll find out in a second. All right, let's get these arms in place. And no, these don't have bendy wire. They also said that in the announcement. You can order actual metal arms off of eBay. I might do that. I didn't want to do it before because I didn't want to ruin my only one. But now that I have two, I can experiment with the metal arms. Do these glasses move? Uh, they're glued to the side of his head, but they do lift up a little bit. So what's the difference with this new Doc Ock? Not much. It's like they said, brighter colors. This green is brighter. This orange is closer to a gold or yellow. His glasses are now gray. I actually prefer the green ones. I might swap those two heads. And it looks like his arms are a little bit brighter. I have more of a blue tint. Now, I haven't reviewed this wave yet. My doc, doc is still in the package and it's not worth taking them out just to do a comparison of the head sculpts. There are plenty of reviews out there. Check out, I'm sure MCU Collector, Foosh, or Shardimus, of course. We'll have the review for Doc Ock. And the hubbub here is this new head sculpt. This new calm, cool collected head sculpt. Now, just to be clear, I'm not complaining that there aren't major changes to him. They made it very clear in the announcement, because if I remember it, you know I have a bad memory, then they were, they were open and transparent with it. What they're doing here is putting a sought after aftermarket figure into a new package with a new head with another figure that's great that people missed out on for a great price. So I'm not mad at Hasbro at all. This is how I like when they do stuff. If this isn't a cheap cash grab. They're giving people what they want. Doc Ock is really expensive on the aftermarket. People just want a new Doc Ock. And personally, I like the new colors better. I like the brighter versions. And like I said, I think when I'm when I do review that one, I'm going to take that head and put it on this one. So I have those green glasses. This calm head's not really going to do anything for me. All right. So what are my thoughts? It depends if you're buying this just for Doc Ock and you already have the old one. I don't know if it's worth the upgrade because the, I like these colors better, but it's not that big of a difference. And this passive head sculpt, I don't think it's worth it unless you're just an absolute completionist. If you don't have Doc Ock, this is totally worth the price of admission. Great figure. A little bit dated, but still a great figure and it's the best Doc Ock you're going to find. Now Silk. If you have the other Silk, I'm the opposite on this one. I think this is worth the upgrade. The first Silk pales in comparison to this one. You got the pinless joints, great articulation. The rockers and articulation on the feet is enough to make it worth the scratch because you can get her to stand up easily. And the two head sculpts you come with, way better than the originals, in my opinion. So anyway, look at it, I think this box set's a winner because even if you have one of the other figures, the price you pay is gonna be worth it. Either one of these guys is gonna fetch you over retail price on eBay. But let me know what you think. Shoot your opinion in the comments. Let's talk about it. 
Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn notifications. Make sure to share a link with a friend. The channel's growing. It could grow faster. I just need to get out there because the YouTube algorithm beats me down. Thank you for all the support. I got a lot of people that tune in on every video. I love you guys. I love you so much. Thank you. Until next time, geek out of here.